recognize Ohio State's newest inductee into the National Football Foundation's College Football Hall of Fame, Rex Kern. Rex will be formally inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame this, this December in New York, becoming the 29th member of the Ohio State football family to receive this honor. Rex is joined today by his wife Nancy, his sons John Ryan and Michael and their families, and several of his teammates from the 1968, 1969, and 1970 Buckeyes. During his three years as Ohio State starting quarterback, Rex helped lead the Buckeyes to a combined record of 27-2, a pair of Big Ten titles, and a national championship. In 1968, as a sophomore, Kern guided the Buckeyes to a perfect 10-0 record, including a 15-14 dismantling of Michigan and a thrilling 27-16 win over top-ranked USC in the Rose Bowl to put the Rams on the school's fourth national championship season. Rex was voted the, by the media as the most outstanding player of the 1969 Rose Bowl, won first-team All-America honors the following fall, and was co-captain of the 1970 Buckeyes. At this time, please direct your attention to the 50-yard line. Our own Archie Griffin, who is on the board of directors of the National Football Foundation and a member of the honor Court, will present Rex with a plaque signifying his induction into the College Football Hall of Fame. That plaque will be then handed over to Ohio State Director of Athletics, Gene Smith, and will be permanently on display at the Woody Haynes Athletic Center. Please give a big one night welcome to Rex Turner, College Football Hall of Fame inductee class of 2007. What this year is going to be looking ahead at during the induction year? Well, it's going to be a fabulous year uh, in December after the recognition here today. They have a uh, black tie affair at the Waldorf Astoria in uh, New York City. And then at the end of the month, we go to uh, the Fiesta Bowl. And uh, hopefully I'll go right from there to uh, New Orleans. <laughs> and uh, But that's not part of the plan. Uh, but then in... Uh, July of next year, they have the enshrinement in South Bend, Indiana, where the Hall of Fame Museum is.